Yo, Frankie K, thank you for the 50. Y'all want traditional masculine men. Most traditional masculine men want feminine women with traditional values. Do you think you fit that description? Why or why not? Okay, so uh, are you a feminine woman with traditional values? Yes or no? Yes. Sorry, I wasn't being... Okay, I'm skipping. Read this. Are you a traditional... Or are you a feminine woman, woman with traditional values? Yeah. Yes. I'd say it's slightly more yes but that's because my family is more traditional in a sense Mm -hmm. um so i kind of grew up that way nicolette um i think i'm feminine and um a little closer to the mic i have some like modern values i think oh same i'm a bit of both but i'd say more traditional and feminine I would say my values are pretty traditional. I wouldn't say I'm like the most feminine woman, but I try. So you're kind of, you'd say you're more masculine? Um, not entirely. You mean like in the bedroom? <laughs> you like to <laughs> peg your boyfriend? No. Have you ever pegged a dude? No. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry, Carson. I, I would say I'm, I have very traditional values, like extremely and ostensibly I try to live up to them but also like by virtue of being born in this century I don't know if it's even possible um Hmm. because we're all raised with such modern values that they're like ingrained in us but yeah by the way guys we have 6,000 people watching about 6,000 people watching right now the chat is on fire (laughs) guys if we can get the likes to 3,000 um Rachel will text one of her male friends and ask if they want to hook up. Um, what about you? Oh, no. I am not traditional in, um, in the sense of what that word used to mean. I'm modern just because of the times that we live in. All right. Yo, we have uh, RPH27. Thank you for the 50. Mary seems the most intelligent and asks challenging and smart questions. Keep pushing. Send help for the TikTokers. <laughs> also, Army Girl is based... Uh, marriage for the L, where's Osti, certified 10, go navy.com. Okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> hey, I was a TikToker. Uh, oh. I'm not absolved here. Okay. I just want to say you can't attack them because also look at the age difference here. Attack so, who? I mean, the TikTokers, I think they're still much younger in experience and mm. like overall, like worldwide experience of meeting people and kind of cultivating relationships. Wait, how old are you again? I'm 21. Okay. I'm not that much older than them, but I'm Okay. Sad. I'm 22. Um, I'm of the same generation. Mm-hmm. I feel like we have like a lot of similar Closer experiences because of that. Um, but our generation is kind of starved for um, a voice of accountability. Uh, I think that a lot of women in our generation and the millennials are told that like men are the problem. They should you know, throw vitriol at men and the problems in modern dating are all their fault. And we're not looking at like ways that we could improve this situation. And if I wanted to get specific, I mean like women need to be more exclusive about who they have sex with. In fact, like uh, they shouldn't be having sex before marriage in my opinion. That if and if we're gonna keep going with the most controversial dating take, that is mine. I think. Wait. I think that would be a turnoff for a man, though. If what? I don't think they would stay with me if I said I wanted to wait until marriage. It depends on the man. I think that if he's just in it for sex, then obviously it's a turnoff. Yeah. If it depends on what he's looking for. If a man mm-hmm. is looking for a serious relationship and he's marriage minded, then what's a year, two years maybe of waiting? compared to a lifetime yeah i agree for the most part but also i think like like being physical with somebody is also like for me a big part in a relationship as well so i feel like it is a big part i just think it's one that's only for marriage okay 